this moment for a long, long time, as has the WWE Universe. Finally, things are going to get settled. My goosebumps have... The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the We're ring got some from company. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in going. at 229 pounds, the Hardcore Icon. Something tells me that the WWE Universe won't be cheering this superstar once we see their true colors. What does that even mean? It's only a matter of time before this superstar goes after another favorite of the WWE Universe. That's when the cheering stops and my dragging starts. With all the destruction, with all the carnage, Byron is facing the victory in something like this. There cannot be any hesitation to do what you've got to do. You have to be aggressive and stay on the attack. That's what it's all about. Pull out all the stops, dig down deep. Do what you have to do. This takes strength, speed, and innovation. And don't forget about a merciless mean streak. He takes control. Placed into the corner. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, and I rake. That's not right, but effective. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Hits him with the counter. He's lost some of his win. An emphatic. The following contest is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 163 pounds. Looks like Ooh. someone's ready to get this match underway Three. sooner rather than later. Oh, come on, is that really what it looks like to you? Kick to the gut. Oh, boom. Oh, brutal form. People have to remember, Michael, in a tables match, doesn't matter what table you put your opponent through, including our announce table. Don't say that too loud, Corey. I'd prefer to keep our working area clear, thank you very much. Well, wait a minute. Since when does what we prefer matter to these superstars? Actually, Byron, that was a good point. Bottom line is one way or another, somebody's going through a table tonight. the biggest difference in a tables match. A competitor's got to be able to think and move quickly, survey the damage, explore possible options, and execute accordingly. You have to, have to fight right to your opponent. To put yourself in a position to do that, being tentative can cost you big time. You must get the table, set it up, and make your move all within seconds. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Springboard misses the target. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Yeah. Oh, what a knee left. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, Cole, but he's just focused on avoiding going through the table. That's all that matters. Into the turnbuckle. Wicked clothesline. He's taking this to the floor now. Into the ring again. Drops it with a big shoulder tackle. He's setting the table up. This won't end well. Right to the chest. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? From the heavens, big splash from the top. Moves outside. What's the plan here? He climbs into the ring. Yeah. Kick to the gut. Uh, Ooh, brutal form. Uh, Haymaker connects. Uh, Bulldog. Uh, Head 
Kicks out and he has all the time he wants. Of all the toys underneath the ring, he just had to go with the one that ensures splinters. He's back into the ring. And he sends him into the corner. Gets him in position. This is not... Up on the top rope. Hazardous part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. He's absorbed some damage already. He's setting up the table in the corner. This isn't going to be good. Look at the velocity into the table. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. Into the corner now. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. Knock out victory. This one is over. Here is your winner. Who? V. Guillermo. And going through that table was the exclamation point on this match. An emphatic tables match victory. Hard to argue with a no. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Eliminators from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 253 pounds, Perry Saturn. Some would say the superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for... Wait a second, what's he doing? He's creating his own advantage, Cole. Uh, we don't know that yet, Corey. That is some unsportsmanlike -like conduct. Oh, give me a break, Saxton. The bell is wrong in this Extreme Rules match. Not the type of match for people with a weak constitution to participate in or to witness. Are you sure you're going to be all right for this one, Saxton? I'm okay for now. I'll avert my eyes when things get ugly. Byron, is it possible to avert disaster in a matchup like this? Competing in WWE is grueling enough, but when it's extreme rules and everything is legal, you are at a different level of combat. Things break down very quickly when you're only limited by your own destructive musings. Take over with a snapmare. Setting him up, got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. Belly to belly suplex. Yeah. Ooh, well measured. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Take over with a snapmare. Oh, man, a face scrape with his boot. He's running into some problems here, guys. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. Oh, these are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. He's taking some good hits. Oh, solid form. Side of an elbow. He's been placed in the corner now. 
A lot of momentum now on his side. Yeah, he's fulfilling his game plan to the T. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Sky high. Rough landing. Series of reversals. And targeting the leg there. Ring of the eyes. Whoa! Whoa! Come on! Back out! Did you, did you see that? I know, Byron, this is your favorite. Oh, I'm your advocates. Ten punches done to perfection. And one for good measure. Every ounce of momentum is now against him. He somehow has to get himself back in order again. From the top. Oh, drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Now that is an exclamation point. Two. Oh, kicks out. Kicks out. Wait, are we sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near calls you'll ever see. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over, but you gotta do a little more to finally finish this. He's one step ahead there. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. And he's keeping the pressure on. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. But yet they continue forward, showing no desire to quit. Oh, a drop kick to the spine. Answering back. We're going to Sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Uh oh. oh he doesn't connect. Who the forearm connects? He can end it here. He's got him. One, two. Forces the shoulder up after two. That is just pure instinct at this point. say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Parks Unknown. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Rob Van Dam. Here's someone who has faced some tough odds and tougher opponents, but always gives it their all. Look, I, I know you think that's a good thing, but this person could learn a thing or two about the value of running and hiding. Ah, uh, yes, the value of being a coward. This is gonna be good. And his opponent from Yonkers, New York, Weighing in at 245 pounds, Tommy Deaver. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait.
He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. One of the challenging aspects of a steel cage match is you have to play offense and defense at the same time. Victory can be achieved by pinfall, submission, or escape. And the unforgiving cage can tear you to shreds in the process. That's why I say do unto others before they do unto you. Especially in a cage match. Close line! Connected with a standing moonsault! Second, into the Pele kick. Big kick right to the gut. Big close line. He got whipped into that corner. Man, drop kick. This man grinding him down a little. He's a tough guy. He can handle the intensity of this steel cage match. It might go without saying, but you really need to use the steel cage to your advantage in a match like this. It's just that simple. It is as simple as this. If you don't use the cage as a weapon, whoever is in there with you surely will. Just ruthless. Stomping. Ouch. Heading up and maybe heading out. Ooh. Reversal. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. Oh, no. Oh, man. Look out below. Ah, oh, he takes a painful fall from the cage. Got to be more aware of your opponent. Looking wobbly in the corner. runs in the mind. How am I going to be able to end this? And here he is, scaling up the cage wall. In search of some footing to make this huge climb.
Yeah, he's gonna have to try something else now. The sprint up the cage is on. There he is, at the top of the cage. Still with a long way to go. Oh, no! From the top of the cage, there are no words to describe it. Just good God. Trying to go for it again. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice.
This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the cost.